Magandang araw. Welcome to another exciting edition of our review session here at Enquest Review Hub. Allow me to share my screen with you guys. Hold on there. Here we go. In a bit. Okay, here we go. Once again, I'm Hermes P. Vargas from Devon Angela City joining you for another exciting edition of Enquest Review Hub. Our topic will be Dev and Monday, Vision, Mission, Core Values, Thrust, and strategic direction. This is a very important topic, but of course, let me show you our flow for today. We'll have our reminders, the recap of what we had last time, the review proper, which will focus on the following subtopics, depth and vision, depth and mission, depth and core values, direction, and strategic priorities. Moving on, sa mga nag-subscribe na maraming maraming salamat for the love and support. Sa mga hindi ba, please do subscribe now on my YouTube channel, youtube.com Hermes Vargas. Of course, this review session is totally free, but if you wish to voluntarily and willingly send your token of appreciation, of course, I am willing to accept that. Here is my Gcash number 0927-585-7144. I am accepting online review for a group of 10, so maximum of 15 per group. But of course, with minimal fee. Moving on, last time we had our discussion on Domain 5 building connections. We highlighted the role of a school head as a person who communicates and fosters relationship with the parents, with the teachers, with the students, and with the wider school community and with the local community. Of course, we also had our MAC test 10 points. Yon. I hope you got seven there. They were very easy questions. And of course, after we discussed the correct responses to the math test. Ganyan po magiging flow natin ngayon. Every time we have discussion, after discussion, we have the math test either on the same video or on the next video. So let's proceed po. Here we go. Okay. This is a very exciting topic. Well, you know, guys, depth, vision, mission, and core values might look sim and might seem very easy. But more often than not, minsan hindi natin talaga it's a very important thing that you'll be able to understand their vision, mission, core values, and how you get to see the application of such in the field. As a future school head, future school leader, as a future school principal, when you see and understand their vision, mission, core values, things become easier because everything that you do will be anchored on this. Why? Because all the policies, issuances, programs, projects of our department is anchored on depth ed vision and mission. Okay, let's begin. Here is the depth ed vision. We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose values and competencies enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improve itself to better serve its stakeholders. Now, what we're going to do this time is iisa-isahin natin ang mga mahalagang linyang ito. We will see how we truly understand the depth ed vision. Okay? Ah, yung mga nag-school health development program na sanaya, maiintindan talaga nito ng klaro. For sure. Because this is part of the module one. Ah, alam ko, yung mga nag-SSDP na dyan, maiintin nyo ito ng bonggang-bongga kasi nga, yun, naging bahagi ito ng Module 1 doon. Okay? Sabi, we dream of Filipinos. Our vision is more than just end goal of a plan. It is a dream, a wish, and a prayer where we fervently hope for and what we didn't do works forwards. I was telling you, even in the previous videos about Republic Act 9155, our responsibilities, our mandate as school leaders, as school heads, as School principals is stated there. Claro, claro po yun. However, if you look at DepEd, the Department of Education, the biggest bureaucracy, almost one third of the bureaucracy is, is, is belongs to DepEd. Ang dami dami natin, one million halos tayo, no? So napakalag na yung Department of Bureaucracy. So kung titinan po natin, we really make such impact to our community and to the country in, uh, in general. So it's, an, it's a must that we understand of what the depth and vision mission is all about. Because if you understand that, everything follows. Everything becomes clear. Okay? So we dream of Filipinos. So it's a dream, it's a wish, it's a prayer. It's a goal which you want to work for. And again, we are guided by Republic Act 9150. Five. Sabi rito, who passionately love their country. 
We want to develop learners who are true citizens and patriots who have strong desire to serve their country and work for its betterment. That is our very aim, di ba? Gusto natin ma-develop yung mga learners natin na pagdating ng panahon, if we all leave this earth, there would be people, there would be responsible citizens who would replace us and who are responsible in guiding, in building, in loving, in caring their country. So yung mga future leaders natin, yung mga future professionals natin, yung mga future citizens natin are our learners. And they all go to, pub and they all go to schools, both the public and the private. And we, in the Department of Education, have the big responsibility of developing our learners. Okay? Sabi rito, continue. And who's values and competencies. We can do two things there. We inculcate the values they necessary and desirable. Ay, naku, lagi itong dinidiktik. Ito di po ba? Lagi natin sinasabi ito sa loob ng klase natin, sa loob ng paaralan, kahit yung tayo mga teachers pa. No? Bago kayo maging mga TIC, OIC, head teachers, master teachers, or kahit ngayon na kayo ay teachers 1, 2, 3 pa, we always want this, our students to remember that na importante ang kanilang character, ang kanilang values na pinanghahawakan. Kasi pag hindi naging maganda ang pagkapalaki, ang kanilang breathing, and we fulfill to develop their character, we will have problems in the future. Bakit? Kasi marami tayo sa, sa lipo natin mga intellectual intellectuals. However, there can be two types, the intellectual monsters and the intellectual angels. Di ba? Marahin mga tatalino pero walang puso at hindi mo rin mahal sa bayan at sa kanilang kapwa. And that's a failure. However, it's not that it doesn't end there. Hope is not lost. Bakit? Kasi meron tayong mga intellectual angels. Matalino, may puso, may malasakit sa bayan, nagmamahal sa bayan at kumikilos para sa ikabubuti ng kanyang mga kapwa. Pangalawa, we work on the competencies. Lagi na sinasabi ito, learning competencies. Importante na ma-acquire ng mga sudyante natin at the end of the school year, at the end of their of their elementary, at the end of their junior high school, at the end of their senior high school. Because that competencies, when they get out of our schools, that's the time that they'll be able to apply that in real life. And whatever they learn, they will be able to apply, they will be able to put together their learnings from different subject areas or learning areas and apply them when they are already working, when they are already leading and living their own lives. Very, very important. Let's continue. Sabi rito, enable them to realize their full potential. Do you recall nung bata pa tayo, anong gusto mo maging paglaki mo? Gusto ko maging doktor, gusto ko maging teacher, gusto ko maging abogado, gusto ko maging singer, gusto ko maging uh, inhinyero. Lahat yan. Tinatanong na sa mga bata, kahit sa mga anak siguro ninyo, sa mga pamangin niyo, you ask this question. Anong gusto mo maging paglaki? At Tandaan ninyo, sa Department of Education, we want our learners, our pupils, our students to realize their full potential. It's not even half. It's full potentials, darling. So, importante talaga yan, no? So, I hope you get a clear understanding of how we interpret our depth and vision. Because everything that we do in our school is anchored on depth and vision and mission. Okay? Let's continue po. Sabi rito, and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. Because as a learner-centered institution, we want them to know how to improve themselves and realize their dreams while keeping in mind the state of their country and the welfare of their people. In turn, Filipinos realize their potential not for selfish gain. Ah, very, very important. But contribute to building a nation every Filipino deserves. Bakit? In the long run, we will be gone. Mawawala din tayo sa mundo. Pero may maiiwan tayo. Our learners, our young Filipinos, our youth who will be leading and living this world. So, importante yan that they contribute meaning to building the nation. Again, we always want a peaceful country, a progressive country, a developed country. We want a quality life. We want a stable life na hindi tayo nakihirap, maayos, payapa, nagamahalan ang mga pamilya. And in that case, the Department of Education plays a very vital role. Imagine if we're able to build such wonderful, creative, critical, competent individuals, our learners. Definitely when they get out of the school, they can contribute meaningfully to building the nation. Imagine our nation is composed of these individuals. Ah, tayo yung kasama tayo doon. So when you have strong individuals, competent, naku, magiging maganda, magiging maunlad, magiging maayos, magiging payapa ang ating bansa. Okay? Let's continue po. Sabi ito, as a learner-centered public institution, yes, our institution, the Department of Education, our agency, is a learner-centered public institution. Sabi sa Article 14, Section 1 of the Philippine Constitution, that is the 1987 Constitution, sabi, the state 
through the Department of Education shall protect and promote the rights of all citizens to quality education at all levels and shall take appropriate steps to make such education accessible, accessible to all. Accessible to all, not to the few, not to the minority, not to the to not, not to the rich ones. Okay. And it promotes the rights of all citizens to quality education. He just said we have big education, but quality education. And you know what I mean when I say quality education. Kaya kayo alam niyo yan, the kalidad na education, an education which we can say that we can be proud of because we can be comparable to other international ed, international uh, um, schools, to other countries. Na ang kalidad, kalidad ay kaya natin pantayan, kaya natin makipagsabayan. And I can guarantee that our learners are really good. You know, when I was in the U.S., in the United States of America in 2011, I had the opportunity to be part of the scholarship program of 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 um, Fulbright Commission or ILEP or International Leaders Education Program, I could see how 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 good our teachers are because na kung magano ako na kung point of comparison eh no, nakita ko na ay magari ang mga teachers sa Philippines they're good of course there, there's no doubt about it but I was just I was just able to raise that we really have good teachers imagine and our learners are really good they can compete kaya magipagsabay so sabi ko hindi na hindi hindi na rin nandalayo siguro ang pinaka behind ng tayo sa in terms of facility siguro, pero in terms of dito, at saka yung diligence, at saka yung sipag, ah, I assure you, magaling tayong mga Pilipino, and I can vouch on that. So, I hope, klaro sa ating itong death and vision na ito para maunawaan natin that we do everything for our learners because they are the heart of our educative process. Okay? Let's continue po. Ito na, the death and mandates. Ito yan. The Department of Education formulates, implements, and coordinates policies plans, programs, and projects in the areas of formal and non-formal basic education, you have to understand that the central office, the regional office, are policy-making bodies. And they give these policies to the field, to the, to the division offices, and to the schools. Tayo na sa schools, tayo nag ng bonggang bongo sa mga yan. So sabi rito, David Manit, let's continue. It supervises all elementary and secondary education institutions, including alternative learning system as both public and private, provides for the establishment and maintenance of complete, adequate, and integrated system of basic education relevant to the goals of national development. So, anak talaga ng ginagampan na natin. Imagine, it doesn't only formulate the educational policies, but it implements. That's why tuloy-tuloy ang pag-monitor sa atin sa baba. And then we we after we monitor you, we get feed, we get feedback. The evaluation results will tell you something, whether to improve, to sustain, or to scrap something. And to coordinate the policy and progress. Alam niyo sa DEPET, hindi madali ang gawa ng DEPET order, yung mga issue once. It takes time. Ang tagal-tagal niyan. For example, yung PPSSH na lang natin. It took years before they finally implement that. It took years. Ang tagal ng review, ng validation, ng pagtatanong, ng pag-ibag-usa sa, sa mga guro, sa mga punong guro. It took a lot of years, darling, before they finally came out with the Philippine professional standards for school heads. So the debt and mandates is very, very clear. Don't need to elaborate this, but you just have to understand that you, ako, and the others, which we belong to the Department of Education, kailang klaro sa atin that we just do not go to work and get our salary and leave the school like that. We have a, a very Herculean task, okay? Let's proceed. As a learner's public-centered institution, as a learner... It in all our decisions and actions we put who, sino? The Filipino learner first. Lagi po yan. Lagi ko sinasabi sa inyo. Learner centered lagi. Lahat para sa mga sudyante. Lahat para sa bata. Lahat para sa bayan. Okay? Kaya hindi pwede mga gawin, gawin natin sa school na pag gusto mo, gusto mo lang. Dahil ikaw masod kasi ikaw ang school head. It cannot be. That cannot be. We always see the impact, the effects to our learners and to our teachers. Okay? More so to our learners because sila yung tumatanggap, sila yung nasa receiving end. Look, this topic, the Education Mission Core Values, um, Thoughts in Strategic Direction, it looks so easy, right? But mind you, this topic is particularly anchored to a domain in Philippine professional standards for school heads. Domain 1 po ito. Naka-anchor ito doon. So dapat maunawaan talaga ninyo. Ito ng klaro, maigi at mabuti. Okay? The Department of Education continues to improve itself. Look at this. A lot of programs which our department, our, our department 
uh, is implementing. No? Ang dami-dami. Importante yan. Minsan nga nagreklamo na tayo, di ba? Ang dami-dami naman programs. Pero lahat ng ito ginagawa ito kasi para sa mga sudyante rin natin. Uh, mayroon pa tayong edukalidad. Ang dami-dami na programs. And all of those, at, at the end of the day, you get to realize, it is not for us. It is for our learners. They are our clients kasi. Sila yung pinaglilingkul at ginagawa natin na importante bagay para at the end of the day, at the end of the grading, at the end of the school year, they are better than, than, than before. They are better than before. When they came to us and when they would leave us at the end of the school year, they are here now. They are better. Okay? Let's continue. The Department of Education continuously improve itself. Just like our students, we do not stop learning. We constantly seek to be better, both as an institution as an individuals. Pag gumali ang mga teachers, gumali ang mga schoolheads, gumali ang mga supervisors, gumali ang mga assistant school division superintendent, gumali ang school division superintendent, magaling ang mga assistant regional directors, ang mga EPS, ang mga PSDS, ang mga regional directors. Ah, the institution itself is really better. Kano nang yon? Domain effect yan. Okay. Let's continue to better serve its stakeholders, the teachers, the parents, the local government, the external partners, other stakeholders, other private partners, and of course, the most important stakeholder. Ayan, ang ating mga learners, ang ating mga kids, okay? Let's continue. However, the real challenge is now. Are we consciously aware of our vision? Alam ba talaga natin yung ating vision sa DepEd? Or minimalize lang natin for the sake na alam natin without internalizing the very meaning of it. Do we have a deep understanding and belief in the possibility of that? Ah, teachers are active agents of action and change towards that vision. Uh, importante ang mga leaders, katuwang talaga natin yan. But of course, as leaders, as school heads, as principals, we make the difference. Ah? Kasi pag hindi ito nagbid ng tama, palpak lahat yan. Kaya ang bigat ang responsibility natin. I've been telling about that last time pa. Okay, let's continue. Here we go. As teachers, how can we be active agents of action and change towards this vision? We follow our mission. Importante yan. Again, yung PPSH at yung PPSD, tambal yan. Magkakampi yan. Hindi magka, magka, magkataliwas. No? They come together, they go together, they are parallel to one another. Let's continue. Let's now take the depth and mission. To protect and promote the right, the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education. As is stated in the 1987 Philippine Constitution, our mission states our duty and as stewards of education to protect and promote the right of all citizens. Do you provide this to the students? Do you have quality education? Sigurado kayo nagtuturo ang mga teachers natin on time, hindi pala absent. Do we provide access, equal opportunity to our learners? Kagaya niyan, panahon na pa, panahon ngayon, ano? Air registration. Naku, dapat yan, ini-encourage natin sila magpatala at, magpa at magpatala, lalo yung mga grade 7 natin, grade 11, yung mga kinders natin, grade 1 natin, no? Is it culture-based? Okay, importante na culture vision. It is anchored on the Philippine context, not on not on American context, not on European context, but on the Filipino context and complete basic education. Let's continue po. Sabi rito, students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe and motivating environment. Let us ask ourselves, do we provide our learners a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe and motivating environment? Child-friendly, baka naman puro bully and nasa school, wala kang ginagawang action. You just allow them na, ay, bata yan, hayaan mo silang mag-asaran. We have to be careful. Is it gender sensitive? Baka naman may nag-discriminate sa mga sa atin mismo, sa ating mga kahanay. Dahil siya ay maitim, o kahit dahil babae siya, dahil lalaki siya, o dahil bali LGBT siya. No? Hindi safe yun pa ganon. No? Hindi safe yun pa ganon. It's not a, a, a conducive place for learning. It's not a conducive school for learning. Is it safe? Wala ba mga nakausde, nabato, barbed wire, mga basura na kasing sumisingaw sa ating paaralan? Safe dapat siya. Dapat may mal malayo, walang health risk sa mga bata ang ating paaralan. No? Baka may mga poultry o pigiri sa katabi nating uh, bayan o lugar na sumisingaw at pag naamoy yung mga bata, nakakadulot ng sakit sa kanila, pag-uubo sa kanilang mga baga. Is it a motivating environment? Are the school heads supportive? Are the teachers supportive just like the parents? We have to ask what. Mamay maganda program ang head teacher in offer sa atin. Tapos ni-inject at ni school principal kasi ayoko. Nasa sa power ng aking star. Nako hindi dapat 'yon. Motivating environment tells you that you have to be supportive to your 
teachers, to your learners, to your friends, especially when the intent is good and it is for our learners. And it is for our learners. Okay? Let's continue. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Do you, as teachers, or as school heads, ensure the development of each unique teacher or learner? Do we allow that? Do we know our learners? Do we know our teach on teachers? Do you know your learners? Kung principal ka, do you know your teachers? Okay? Pag school head ka on the point of school, we have to take care of our teachers so that they are happily working and serving. Pag masaya ang mga teachers, masaya ang yan, ganado, motivated, it follows that learners will also be motivated and ganado. And parents would come to school. They would visit. They would be supportive because you have highly performing individuals who are happy competent, creative, critical. No? Teachers natin ang mga yan, so we have to be proud of them. And of course, pag yung mga teachers mo ganyan, they would nurture the learners. They would be very good stewards of learn of our learners. Okay? Wala tayong magiging problema sa mga teachers natin. Let's continue. Administrators and staff as stewards of the institution ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Do our policy systems, processes, and behaviors ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen? Pag school head ka, dapat tinitingnan mo yan. Ha? Although I'm, I, or sa school level to sinasabi ko, ha? but of course, pag SDS ka na, ASDS ka na, on the division level. Pag RD ka, ARD ka, on the regional level. And of course, pag sa general office ka, on the national level. Kailangan klaro yan as administrator and of course, staff, na teaching staff as well. Kailangan tinitingnan natin yan. We must be. We must make sure that our policies would support an environment, would create an environment that is supportive of effective learning to happen. Kasi mama yung maganda naman ang ito hindi naman natin hinahayaan. Nasa legal naman, nasa ethical naman, naka angkla naman sa depth division mission at nandoon naman sa depth issuance. We have to be supportive of that. Wag tayong maghihinsan sa mga ganong bagay. If these things call for our go signal, aprubahan na natin kasi maganda tahaha tulong naman. But of course, we have to make sure that everybody is safe. Okay? Let's continue. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Do we, let's ask, actively practice shared governance of basic education with the entire community in developing all Filipinos? So school level, do you invite your parents, your GPT officer, your HRPT officer, your SSG, SPG officers to participate in crafting? The ESIP and AIP, ini-invite mo ba? O sinosolo nyo lang? Ikaw lang principal ang gumagawa. O pinapagawa mo lang? Nako ah. Mm, nako, hindi tama yon. We have to engage, we have to invite, we have to involve our stakeholders in crafting our ESIP and AIP. Kasama po sila. That is leading strategically, domain one pa rin yan. No? When you involve your, your, your parents and other stakeholders in crafting these important plans of the school. Okay, these are very important plans of the school. At ngayong pandemic, meron kayong basic education learning continuity plan. Di po ba? Okay, so bear that in mind, my dear future school leaders. Ayan. Okay, now, let's talk about the depth and core values. Napakadali. Napakadaling basahin. Napakadaling um, intindihan. Kung talagang tumatalima tayo at isinasa puso po natin. At isinasagawa, importante yun. Maka Diyos, maka tao, maka bansa, maka kalikasan. Tingnan natin isa-isa. Maka Diyos. Nagpapakita ng gusto magugali alin sunod sa kanyang prinsipyo at paniniwala ng spiritual. Self-check tayo dyan. Mm. Aktibo na kikilahok sa mga spiritual na gawain sa sariling organisasyon at komunidad. Iginagalang ang paniniwala ng spiritual ng kapwa. Tandaan po niyo, the state does not endorse any particular religion. There's no such state religion. And again, the Constitution guarantees that. Hindi natin binibigyan ng particular na bas-bas ang isang religion. Dapat ito. Kaya sa school natin, wala tayong religion subject, wala tayong religion subject per se, di po ba? Na kailangan ito lang. Uh, unlike in other schools, meron, meron tayong mga Catholic schools, purely because they are Catholic. But still, I, I, would, I, would, I would assure you na this respect other religious belief also. Just like sa atin sa gobyerno, sa, sa public schools, wala tayong ina-advocate, dapat ito ang religion, dapat. Again, you also have to understand that there is a separation of the state and the, of the, state and the, the church, no? That is also a principle in our, best in our constitution. So same thing sa atin sa Department of Education. Whatever the religion is, ano man ang kanyang spiritual or religious belief, we respect that, okay? Let's continue. Kung paano isang katotohanan, itinatatuwa at gumagawa ng paraan na labanan ang katiwalian. We don't tolerate corruption in the school. Ah? We don't tolerate that. 
corruption does not only mean that you cor corrupt. It doesn't only mean financial matters. Ha? Maraming form of corruption. This supreme dishonesty is corruption already. You corrupt the values and the minds of your students. Ba nagsisinungaling ka? Ha? When you promote dishonesty, that is corruption of the values and the minds of your learners. Pinaginilayan ang mga decision ayon sa spiritual na paniniwala. So, tinitingnan, tingnan mo rin yan. Importante po yan. Na tayo ay makajos. Yan ang sentro ng lahat. So, we, 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 we get The, the light, the guidance from the almighty being which really is responsible for the life we have here on earth. Okay? Pahiram na buhay, gawin nating makabuluhan, makatao. At yan ang kasunod na pag-uusapan natin. Makatao. Pinahahalagan ang dignidad, dangan, at karapatan ng bawat isa. Naku, we value that as human beings. Napakimportan ng dignidad na talagang sinasabi niya. Kaya ang hirap maging teacher, ang hirap Um, maging principal, ang hirap pag nasa Department of Education, you have to be careful with your actions, with your words, no? which, which come out from your mouth, with, with what you write. Iginagalang ang desisyon at paniniwala ng lahat. Respeto sa kapwa-tao at sa kapwa-guro, sa mga magulang at sa mga mag-aaral natin. Isinabubuhay ang nilalaman ng panunumpaan ng kawani ng gobyerno. Kawani ka ng gobyerno, alam mo dapat ito. Napaka-importante po itong panunumpaan ng kawani ng gobyerno. Importante na public, as public servants, As public officials, we adhere our values to the government. No? So, sa DEP, eh, dami core values tayo. Yung personal values yung medyo, hindi ko sinasabing itotol isintabi ninyo, but you have to understand na yung core values natin, pangahawakan natin na hanggat tayo ay kawani ng gobyerno dito sa Department of Education. Importante po yan. No? Okay? Binibigan ng pantay at mga tarungan na pagtingin at pagkito ang bawat sa holder. Wala ang kinikilingan dapat. Hindi po rin mayaman isang pera, kakampihan mo na. Hindi po rin mahirap isang pera, hindi mo na i-serve. Walang ganon. Huwag kang tumitingin doon sa antas ng pamumuhay. You should be fair. Because our calling is public service. Nagamalasakit sa kapahanan ng mahihirap higit sa lahat. Kaya may public schools para ito sa kanila. Para matulungan natin sila na ma-alivate ang kanilang katayuan sa buhay para pagkatapos sila mag-aral, posibleng makagawa sila ng paraan, makaahon sa kanilang kalagayan ngayon. Tayo po ay tumutulong sa mga tao at sa mga kapwa natin mahihirap. Okay? Let's continue. Makabayan, pagtangki at gamalaki sa mga produktong sariling atin. Naku, mamaya lahat na ng produkto. Banyaga talagang pinatso na. Talagang sinamba mo. Ano? Huwag naman po gano'n. Let us be proud of the products we have. Okay? Importante yung mga produkto natin. At kailangang tang kiliki natin yan. Ipinagamalaki at hindi kinahiya ang pagiging Pilipino kahit saan man magpunta. Ay! Dapat lang, be proud that you are Filipino. Whatever, we must be proud of ourselves as Filipinos. Huwag natin kayang lahi natin. Magaling tayo, matalino, creative, critical, talented. Ako, napakuhusay natin. Kaya, dapat proud tayo na tayo ay mga Pilipino. Aguturong lokal na kasaysayan at pinagasanip ito sa curriculum. Ay, ako social studies major ako. Yung local history, huwag yung kakalimutan yan. Napaka-importante yan. Kasi mamaya, alam mo ang national history, local history, hindi mo alam. It's very important that wherever you are, you are rooted in your in your place. Alam mo ang kwento ng bayan mo, alam mo ang mga pagkain ng bayan mo, alam mo ang gawi, ang kultura, ang magandang tanawin. At syempre, yung, yung, yung salamin ng lahi, no? yung wika mo, gamitin mo naman. Sa, huwag kang mahiya. Ako, kampangan ko, eh ako marine. Eh. Nepo? O oh, yan, siya yung sayang sa kampangan ko. Pag bisaya ka, ayaw yung pagkaulaw. May parang dira bisaya ka kaayo. No? So, yung kasi sayang local, importante po yan. Kasi may mga bayani tayo sa ating mga bayan na tumayo at kinala noon pa man bago ang mga national heroes natin. So, it's very, it's very important that we, we love, we embrace, and we share our local history. There is already a legacy of our generation which we must pass to the next generation. Okay? Let's continue. Pinahahalaga ang takin ng Pilipino na nakapag-ambag sa si edukasyon. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Ginagamit ang sarili ng wikas. Kasasabi ko lang po kanina sa inyo niyan. Okay, let's continue. Makakalikasan. Pinananatiling malinis at maayos ang kapaligiran. Kaya huwag ka magtapon ng basura sa loob ng iyong opisina, sa loob ng iyong paaralan. Iuwi mo o kaya ilagay mo sa tamang taponan. Kahit na teacher ka pa, principal ka po, o official ka man ng DEP, at i linisin mo ang iyong basura. Huwag ka magkakalat dyan. Huwag mong iasa sa mga, sa mga maintenance. Na porky may maintenance, aasa ka. No, no, no. Pinananatiling lutian ang kapaglan. O, oh, green, clean and green. Nako, masarap, masaya ang mapuno, mahalamang paaralan. Nakakatuwa kayo maraming halam. Sa amin, sa school namin, may, may mga gulay, may mga puno. Nakakatuwa. Kaya pag may mga green na ganyan, nakakatuwa. Ako, pag-umunta ako sa ibang paaralan, like, 
sa sa, sa, sa ibang lugar na katotoo ako pag marami tayong mga punot mga halaman importante po ang mga yan imagine kung walang puno kawawa tayo mamamatay tayo na maaga pag walang mga puno at sinira natin ang ating kalikasan now as part of the Department of Education we have to educate and to inculcate to our learners the very importance of taking care of our environment okay nakilala ho nakilala ho sa mga gawain magsusulong at pinangangalan ang likas na yaman let's join um, tree planting kailangan yan So, suportahan natin at gawin natin part natin sa Department of Education. Okay? So, dapat intindi nyo ang mga core values na ito. Dapat klaro din ito sa mga guru at sa ating mga mag-aaral. Kasi eventually, these core values which our Department of Education embraces must be embraced by our learners and our teachers too. Okay? Let's continue. Pinahahalagan at iniingatan ang kagamitan ng kawanihan. Yan. Huwag magsay ng resources porque maraming band papers sa school. Print ka ng print, sira ka ng sira, punit ka ng punit, tapos wala kang pakundangan, hindi po maganda yun. Ah? Huwag niyong hahayaan yung ganun. Ginagawa ang wasang paraan ng pagkatapon ng basura sa so magitan ng 3 hours. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Wow, very, very good. Gawin po natin yan. Mahakatuloy sa ating kapalagiran para, wa, para mas maalagaan natin yan. No? Importante po yan. Gawin natin. Gawin natin. More important than saying it is let's do it. Oh, let's go with our direction. Where do we go from here? Okay. Ayan. Ito ang DepEd. From centralized to decentralized and empowered. Kasi sa Republic of 9155, decentralized na talaga tayo. Hindi na uso yung lahat galing sa taas. Kailangan ngayon lahat may party, lahat may role, lahat may inaambag at nagmumula sa baba. High radical top-down approach, wala na po ito. Panahon na po ito ni Mahoma. Hindi na po totoo ito. All of us take responsibility. That's why we are empowered to do our our part. No? Sa school level, sa division level, sa regional level, at maging ikaw sa classroom level, gawin mo ang party mo. Reactive approach, proactive approach. Let's change that. No, wala na yung reactive na pag binigyan ka ng gantong reaction or feedback, nagagalit ka. Hindi na po uso yun. Kahit na pinakamatas ang position mo, pag binigyan ka ng suggestion or ng mas maganda, hindi what you do is tingnan natin, pag-aralan natin, pag-usapan natin, baka maganda, may merit ito, i-implement natin. Hindi yung porgay, ikaw ang bossy. Ayoko. Hindi, gusto ko ganito lang. Ako lang ang masusunod. Hindi ko pwede ang ganon. Hindi po actual mindset. Yan sabi ni Stephen Covey. Okay? Activity and program based. Hindi na ganon. Strategic and results based. Let's have the data. What is the results? What do the results tell you? Then from the results, you take your course of action. Doon ang, yun ang strategic. Hindi gagawa ka dahil gusto mo, feel mo. Hindi ganon. That's wrong. Okay? Sabi rito, recipient of directives. We are active agents of change. We just do not see this as it is. Tanggap ko yung tanggap. Pag-asapan, pag-aralan, tapos i-localize, i-contextualize, and then implement natin. Ganon po yun. Isolated, no? Ayan, I was saying, active involvement and engagement of the community. The parents, the teachers, the learners, and the other stakeholders, our LGUs, take part. Invite them. Let them take care of our schools too. Let them understand that the school, that education is a shared responsibility. One size fits all approach? No way. Learner and community-centered po dapat tayo. Hindi ito yung one size fits all. Kasi hindi naman totoo yun na kung ano-ano nag-work sa'yo, mag-work sa ibang school. Kung ano nag-work sa mga teachers na mag-work sa, sa ibang teachers din. It's a case-to-case -case basis. Okay? Let's continue. Strategic priorities. Ito yan. Marami-rami yan. External partnerships. Yes. Kailangan maiunawaan natin that we foster relationships with our wider committee. Pag sinabi ko ganito po ito, external partnerships in all levels mo ha, from the school, division, regional, and to the national level. Importante yung external partnership natin. As you can see naman sa ating Department of Education, you could see naman they are fostering external partnerships and they really allow our external partners to join hand in hand in implementing our program's policies because we see and they see that it is for the benefit and welfare of our learners. Technology, yes, yes. I see the integration is very important in running, in money, and um, in governing our department. Culture, system, and processes, it, the whole thing is the whole stuff on how we put together this uh, different stuff and then you have a culture, with a system, and a process, and a process, a processes and process that work. Governance is one of the cra of the department aside from assess and quality, no? Governance, importante ito. How do you govern, how do you manage, and how do you implement all the policies? Curriculum implementation, yes, importante rin po ito, higit sa lahat. Na ipatutupad ba natin ang kitutupad ng maayos? Do we, do, we, do we meet the standards, the curriculum standards? 
are, are we able to meet the learning competencies in the school level? Kasi sa school level, yung makikita eh, eh reflection lang yung mga data ang binibigyan sa region at sa national from the school level. And of course, are we learner-centered? Strategic priorities natin yan. Dapat learner-centered tayo. And inclusive education. Wala tayong pinipili. Lahat pasama. Walang maiiwan sa ating mga mag-aaral. Okay? And finally, sabi rito, meto ang ating strategic priorities together with our department goals. And there you go. Together with the depth and vision mission and core values. Of course, the key results areas, the objectives in the years. Lahat yan, pagsama-samain mo na. Pagtitagniin mo na. Itong key results area, yung quality Our access and governance kasama yan. Mayroong mga break tamo yung objective indicators para mas madaling madigest at maunawaan ng mga teachers, ng mga school heads at ng mga tao sa atin sa paaralan. And of course, they are all anchored to our departmental goals, to our strategic priorities, and of course, again, kung saan yung umpisa kayo na yung vision, mission, core values. Nandun po yung naka-anchor. Very, very important yan na naiintindihan ninyo ang lahat ng mga bagay na yan. Kasi kung hindi, magkakaproblema naman po tayo. So I hope klaro po sa inyo ang sinasabi ko ito that everything is anchored to this to our depth and vision mission core values. Pag hindi niyo po ito naunawaan magkakaproblema tayo kasi it will be useless. Again, depth and vision mission core values in terms strategic directions are all part of domain number one leading strategically. On our next video, we shall have a mathis on this topic. So with that, thank you sir, very much for joining me in today's session. Enjoy the rest of your time. God bless. Thank you, everyone. Bye.